Right, I'm, I'm back on me my fiddly, then I'm, I thought I'd just give you a quick update where I'm up to. I've managed to get me, uh, me armature in and I've got that really fine wire on now. Uh, I've actually done, uh, I'm on my sixth pass now, my sixth layer. And I, I think I've put, uh, well, about a thousand, roughly about a thousand uh, turns of coil on. So that's where I'm up to at the moment, and I thought, while I'm just at this point, and uh, and I've got it all running properly, touch wood, I thought I'd just show you it uh, winding coil on. So I'll just explain to anybody again that uh, may have missed me earlier parts. Um, I think you, you really need to see them to catch up on everything, really. But... Um, I'm not a professional at this, I'm not an expert, I'm just a, a, a novice on a on a steep learning curve. I've took advice from various parts of YouTube and various websites and I've integrated all parts together with my own ideas to to, to make this uh, fixture for me my, my for lathe and uh, everything seems to be running okay at the minute but this wire that's in is very very thin and the slightest bit of tension on it and it snaps so I've got to I've got to be honest you've really got to be careful but uh, I suppose to any any professional out there watching me do this they'll they'll wonder probably wonder why I'm making such a fuss about it but I've never done it before and um, it's an experience so and I'm just learning so I'll probably find different ways of doing it the, the more I, the more I progress to this project but um, anyway I'm talking enough I'll set lathe going now and I'll let you just see uh, see it winding and then I'll move camera closer to it so if camera wobbles a bit you know why so I'll set lathe going now That clicking you can hear is my counter. So like I said before, my wires in, in back at fixture, coming up through a friction peg, coming over a nylon pulley, back down, through a, a, a copper guide tube, from vertical to horizontal, uh, and then winding onto my coil. I've got my feed rate set at it's set at nine thou per revolution, and that just seems to be the best setting. I've tried various settings before, and I think that nine thou for this wire, although nine thou is thicker than uh, the wire is a lot less thicker than nine thou. Uh, I'm finding that that that's a, a, a nice suitable rate to feed across. And then occasionally I just have to tweak my compound at each end just to realign it. It's only a few thou. So I'll let you have a look at this while it's running then. At the moment I'm going from the chuck to the tailstock, left to right. Uh, I've put a a layer of captain tape in between each layer. You can probably see it shining on video. That's the captain tape. And there's my spool of wire spinning. Up through the thick friction wedge. Hold that pulley two or three turns. Back down the guide to fill the nozzle and onto my armature. And as you can see, it's about nearly halfway across at the moment. And I'm only a novice at doing this videoing, and I'm only a novice at doing this armature winding. And I'm trying to juggle a few too many things at the moment. Uh, so just as we get just past halfway, I shall have to put camera down and switch off so I can concentrate. Uh, I'm going up to the other end because I've got to say this it, it's 
you've got to find a, a good space of time to, to do it where we don't get any interruptions, turn your phone off so that you can concentrate and also I found that using a set of these to get the to get the windings going a magnifying glass uh, it does help just as you're starting to, to make sure it's all going on properly because you don't want it to overlap so anyway I'll update you again uh, when, I've, when I've done a bit more thanks for watching ok I'm just doing a quick update on the uh, magneto rewind and as you can see now I've got me uh, very fine wiring and uh, I'm on me uh, ooh, 5, 10, 15 I'm on me 17th layer of winding uh, I've got my feed rate set at about 6 thou you can hear me county going and I think at the moment I've got about well nearly three and a half thousand turns on so I've got a long way to go yet but I thought I'd just give you this quick update so you can see it running and I'm, I'm going from the uh, from the chuck to the tailstock at the moment and as you can see I'm coming up to the very end of my run so I'm going to have to put the phone down now not the phone, the camera uh, to get ready to put some more insulation on ready for the next pass so just a quick update Okay, uh, I'm back again. It's, it's just a, a, another quick update. Information I thought I might to, I'd like to pass on to you. Uh, I hope I'm not getting too involved with it, but uh, I think it's something that if anybody's going to have a go at, I think you'd like to know what I've done. Uh, as I've got to end of my pass now, I've stopped the lathe and I've put some captain tape on, a layer of captain tape. Uh, ready for my next pass. Now, as I get to the end of my pass on me on me feed with my lathe, uh, I have to turn this tumbler over to go a different direction. Well, I've already turned it over for this one, and before you fully engage it to the to the opposite direction. It's best to leave it in neutral just for a few seconds and then with your lead screw handle on your Myford what I'm doing I'm just taking the backlash out of the lead screw just till I see this handle turn the opposite direction and then once I see that handle turn opposite direction I know I've got all backlash out I then go back to my tumbler, which is here, and then en engage it to the opposite direction that I was coming in previously. So, I just thought I'd let you, I'd tell you that, uh, because when you set the lathe going, once you've turned the tumbler, you've got a couple of turns where you've got to get the backlash out. And that's what I'm doing. So I just thought I'd update you. Uh, I don't want to go on too much about it. So uh, I'll continue and uh, update you later. Thanks a lot. Okay, I'm back again. Uh, I think I missed a bit of information off last time. I know everybody might not have a Marford lathe, and I was just explaining how to take the backlash out with the lead screw handle. Obviously, if you're on a different lathe and you've not got one of them handles on your lead screw, uh, I was just thinking about it and. All I could suggest would perhaps to, uh, as you're setting your lathe running on the opposite, in the opposite direction for the next run, what you'd have to do is just for them few turns of the spindle is, uh, you'd have to adjust it with your compound slide just, just to make the difference of the backlash up each time you go backwards and forwards with a different layer. So. Uh, I just thought I'd, I just thought I'd give, give that idea to fill into melting pot. Thanks a lot. Bye.
Now I'm back again. Uh, a bit more information for you here. Uh, obviously I keep giving you bits of information in different places, but you know you don't always think of it, think of it at time when you when you try to explain on a on a on a video. Uh, so I've just reached the end of my next layer. Now before I put my cap tape on, I forgot to tell you this. Instead of that uh, eye tracking uh, varnish which I shown you in my, like in my previous videos, a, a good friend of mine let me have some uh, this uh, Elmo firm spray. It's an electrical insulation, and what I'm doing is uh, spraying. I'm just putting a little spray, as you can see, on the winding. As I finish the run, just turn it a little fraction, another little spray, till you've covered the whole circumference. How much some people might think I'm a bit of a philistine, I'm spraying on, onto my lathe bed there, but it's only it's only varnish and with oil on my lathe bed it's not sticking so it'll wipe off uh, so I've just sprayed that on there look and now what I shall do I shall cut a piece of tape to suit the circumference and to suit the width put the tape on and once this thermo this uh, what's it called Elmo firm insulation insulation spray dried. I'll, until it takes a few few seconds to dry. I'll put my captain tape on, then I'm back over for my next one. Thanks.